Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video then, I'm going to show you the settings that I use for recording on OBS. Now these settings may vary for different people and different machines, but these are the, the, the best settings I think that work for me anyway. So we'll have a little look and perhaps they would be the best things for you as well. So let's jump into OBS. Uh, you're going to go down to the settings tab. Now we are looking at recording settings today. There will be a separate video on streaming, but today is just for recording. So you're going to go down to the video tab at, uh, down here. Uh, make sure, first of all, this is the first thing you need to make sure. Make sure your base resolution, your canvas resolution is what you want it to be. And then make sure the output is, for me, I'm just going for HD. So I'm going for 1920 by 1080. So just make sure that those resolutions are correct, first of all, because they can, they can cause havoc down the line. So just double check those. Then we're going to go to output and if you don't see these tabs here, it means that you're not in advanced mode. So make sure your output mode is in advanced. Now, some of these settings I won't be able to change right now because I am currently recording with OBS. So some of them are, are grayed out if you're wondering why that is. But you're going to go to output, you're going to go to advanced, and you're going to hit recording. So uh, down here are all the different options that you can have. Uh, then we're going to go to the recording settings and recording format is the first thing I want to show you. So... I have mine set as MKV. Now, the reason for that is if OBS were to crash uh, for any reason, then it means you'll have some of that file to, to, to gain back. If that was set to MP4 or MOV, it means you'll lose that video and that video will be corrupt because it crashed. So with MK4 or MKV, you'll have video on there that you can, you can get back. Um, now, a tip then to convert that, as soon as I hit stop recording, it will automatically convert to MP4, which I think you'll be relieved at. You'll think that's a, a format that I can actually use in my video editor. So uh, what you're going to go to down to is advanced, and you're going to scroll down to recording. Um, you're going to tick this box here, automatically remux to MP4. So as soon as you hit stop recording, that MKV file will still be there, but it will also give you an MP4 version as well. Okay, so back up to the output settings. A video encoder, I've just set to X264. I have no kind of additional uh, video encoder, so that's the one I'm going for, and that's the one that works for me. And um, the audio encoder then is just uh, the FFmpeg AAC. Okay, we'll get into audio settings just in just a minute. So let's scroll down to the encoder. My rate control is CBR. Uh, some of the things that then will actually affect the video quality. So the, the first thing that will affect it is your video bit rate. So... I have a set to 3500. Now, um, if you're using a 4K resolution, uh, then you're going to need something significantly higher than that. So 4000 and above for this number here. Um, for, for HD, again, this will just depend on your system and so on. And you can play about with this and see how it works. But anything from 2500 up to 4000 uh, kbps for 1080p. So I've just set it to... 3500 there and again that's the quality that you're seeing right now um, and then you're going to go down to the um, first of all the rate control uh, which is a CBR so that kind of it's a constant bit rate that's what that means so it offers the consistency so it's a constant bit rate right through um, now uh, if we go on down to the CPU and we're going to go to this option here CPU usage preset now I'm sure you're wondering what slow and fast and medium and all of this means. In in basic terms, a medium is a good starting point to balance your quality and performance. So if you're not quite sure what your actual computer can do and what it can deal with, then start off medium to see how that works for you and see what kind of quality you get from it. Very fast will be for older hardware or you know when your performance is critical. So uh, that, that will be where you want to base that. What I've set mine for slow, it is for maximum quality. Um, it does use significant processing power. So if you've got several different things going on at the same time, again, just test it and see what happens and uh, and see how it works for you and see what quality uh, is, uh, is on the other end for you. Profile then I'm setting to high as well. So that gives you the high and um, the, the most improved video quality anyway. Um, but, but apart from that, that is all the settings that I, that I use for, for video. Um, again, it's just all about the bit rate and all about the CPU. And if you balance those correctly, you'll and allow yourself to get the best quality video that you can. Um, as for, uh, for audio then, as, I, as you scroll down here, I've just set all my audio bit rates to 160. And as I said there, it's the audio encoder is AAC. So 
they're just the basic recording settings, the, the best that I can get anyway out of the machine. And again, uh, you're you're watching the the video right now. This is the uh, the exact settings. I mean, I'm recording directly from OBS right now. So um, have a have a look at those settings, have a play about with them, and certainly use those as a, as a kind of bottom line and work from there. If you like the video, if it gave you any information whatsoever, do hit the like button. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button. There's going to be plenty more videos on the way. And perhaps if there's a video that you would like to see, do go into the comment section. As a little um, kind of bypass, not nothing to do with OBS or anything, I am going to be releasing a podcast course. So uh, if you want to learn about podcasting, perhaps you want to learn about editing, you want to learn from right from the beginning, it's going to be like a 101 from beginner right through to you know, basically be an expert in podcasting on my course on Udemy. More on that to come, but do hit the subscribe button on this channel to find out all about it. And thanks so much for watching.